Next event on the track is the Epson Women's 800 meters. And the youngest U.S. gold medalist since 1964 is a thing Mo. What an Olympic she had. 19 years of age, just before the Olympics started. It didn't matter. She romped to victory. On your mark. We have the full podium here as you look at the rest of the lane assignments. Hodgkinson and Raven Rogers, who's on home soil herself. In fact, she's one of the five legends on the tower that they'll pass through the first 200 meters. And when she saw the tower for the first time, it was incredible. Both times that she landed on the podium, first at the World Championships in 2019, and then less than a month ago in Tokyo, it took a Herculean effort. She looked like she was completely out of it, and she found what many people can't find in the final phase of, 100, of the 800 meters. She's a true competitor, and a big part of what now makes Team USA a force at middle distance running. That's Kaylin Whitney, the American up front, doing the pace setting duties. She herself came home with an Olympic medal. And the women's 4 by 400 and meter relay. Mo was part of that quartet that won the final race. And she's in front with Gemma, Re Gemma Riki of Great Britain, currently in third. Quick pace here. And I think Mo has already said this is her last race of the year. And let's see what she's capable of in these final 350 meters. And she is all by herself and starting to push the pace. Nobody has a response for what a thing Mo is doing down, going, doing down the back stretch, and that means we're in for a fast time. Yeah, we didn't even see her do this at Tokyo. When it's your final race and you're in the kind of shape that a thing Mo is in, she's run incredible 400 meter races. Obviously, an Olympic champ at this distance. She looks fantastic. 124.4 through 600 meters. Look at this extension of speed. Everybody else racing for second. Off the final turn. The Hayward field record is 155.92. That may be shattered in this process as a thing Mo starts her year as a collegiate freshman, makes an Olympic title, and goes with a new 155.04 American record. If you have been an American fan of the 800 meters for a long time and wondering, when will we see somebody <laughs> capable of dominating the world in the 800? Well, she's here, she's 19, and her future could not be brighter, a thing more. Yeah, the time is now for a thing Mo, and we talk about how incredible she has been all season long, and I would like to say we talk a lot about the Hayward magic, and you know, we also heard athletes talking about this crowd, how it really pushes them that next level. I think that's what pushed a thing Mo to new heights today. Another American record for her. She looked really, you could tell she put it all on the line for the first time we saw her struggling in the final few phases. And that's what your coach says, leave it all on the track. And the thing Mo did that for us today. I don't think I've seen a thing Mo tie up since indoors. You could see the fatigue with that effort, but what a reward for the effort. New American record, <laughs> new personal best, and she goes into the off season, leaving everybody else who runs this event quaking in their boots for 2022. Fastest time ever run on American soil. She moves up to number nine all time in this event ahead of a Prefontaine legend, Maria Mutola, whose name is given to the athlete performance of the meet. So a new pre-record, new American record, too many records to mention. <laughs> a thing Mo closes out her season in style, 155.04.